Hello everybody, my name is Waddles. I hope you're doing very, very well today. I have an exciting announcement to make. It is certainly time for a few more village defense tests. This video is a part three. If you haven't seen part one or part two, this is what we do. Today, I have three tests in mind. Before the video, I went ahead and prepped for our three tests. The goal is to see which idea or method here defends a village the best. All of the villages are ready, so we'll be triggering a raid and just kind of watching to see what happens. Today's three tests are a llama test, a magma block test, and... An explosive test, oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to defend a village with TNT. Absolutely nothing could go wrong at all, uh-uh. Go down below in the comments and take a guess as to which test you think will be the best. So if you enjoy the video, leave a like and please do consider subscribing. And if you're planning on starting a server, use code Waddles with Cubetoes for 25% off your first month. Ah, and with that, I think it's about time we start our experiments. Sliding into test one here, which is the magma moat test. So around this whole village, I have a five block wide magma block moat. Now, do I think this is going to defend the village very well? Uh, <laughs> admittedly, absolutely not. I think the pillagers are going to ram right through these magma blocks and pillage this whole village. So here's our bad omen, and I think we should just kind of start the test without any more delay. Now, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Is there a bug with the bad omen effect? Uh... Ah... Uh, uh, you guys... Aha! Uh <laughs> I had the game mode on peaceful, so uh, that's why I guess... Peaceful is going to be the best way to defend the village. But anyways, now the raid is coming in, so... Where do we see the raiders? Hmm... Oh, there they are. Okay, so... Are you guys gonna march right through this? Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm, well. Um. I'm sorry, villagers. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. Okay, so let's get rid of our raiders here so we can begin phase two of the raid because I'd like to see uh, just how, I guess, little damage the beast takes. And look at that, we have a fancy, fancy banner, but where is, okay, so there they are again, uh, oh no, <laughs> we have a dancing beast, a ravager, excuse me, excuse me, uh, you are going to get a little help from me, there you go, and you can uh, climb out of there too, um, yeah, uh, magma blocks don't defend a village at all, but I think we have, what is this, some fork chop, mm-hmm, so that's pretty cool um uh yeah don't use magma blocks at least like this to defend the village though this is an absolute fail i think we would need at least 10 blocks of magma blocks and that's not even thinking about the beast uh because these guys have uh, a whole lot of health still uh yeah that's like four hits while i'm flying on one of those guys to kill him still so yep magma blocks are a no-go so moving on to test number two uh, I think we'll test the TNT out next. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a very, very dangerous test. I haven't finished setting up the mines quite yet because, yeah, mobs are wandering everywhere. I hope they don't wander in here and, and mess up my test too much. But uh, this is a minefield, so I surrounded the rest of the village with uh, a wall. So hopefully the pillagers uh, wander over this way. If we get lucky, they'll spawn over here but uh, we would have to get really lucky. Then I'm thinking that they'll wander through here and set off a bunch of TNT and hopefully blow up before they ever reach the village. Now I did add in some berry walls in here because I think these guys will need to be slowed down. They will probably walk right over the pressure plates and move inwards towards the town. So if I have these berry bushes here, maybe some of them will be stopped and they'll spin in place long enough to be blown up. I would like to give a quick mention to the one unfortunate villager that I had to kill. Um, oh no, that's not good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
And that is absolutely why you back up your worlds before you do this. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to focus and get all of these pressure plates down by our mines here and... Uh, we'll just start the test. Okay, so our minefield should be good to go. Let's go ahead and give me the bad omen effect and then call in this raid. So let's see. Here we go. Uh, I hope the raid goes over to our minefield. I don't know if their AI or their pathfinding will be able to figure this one out. Uh, the wall has some weak points I can see. Um, now... I was going to make a minefield all the way around the town, but I figured that, aha, okay, so this is good. Um, are you guys gonna, no, don't go that way, go this way, yes, no, no, over here. <laughs> uh, I was gonna put a minefield all the way around the town, but, oh, did that count, yep, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. All right, one final try uh, before we call it a day. Now, um, what I was trying to say before the cow decided to blow up our, our minefield is I decided to go uh, with one minefield around the village over there because I figured that, you know, TNT all the way around the village would be a little difficult to place. Ah, uh, yes, perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, so what's going to happen? Um, I'm really glad that these guys went through the minefield. Uh, oh. They're breaking through. Um, oh, no. <laughs> They're going to blow up the whole minefield. I guess my berries uh, weren't enough. Uh-oh. Uh um, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like uh, the minefield is just not a good way to go either. Um, the raid survived that one. Uh, they're just kind of sitting over here. Um... Uh-huh. <laughs> they seem to have been pretty weak, but yeah, that's just not a good way to go because now uh, we are left with an empty uh, cavern here for um, uh, phase two. It looks like some of our villagers, uh, yep, the house has been blown up a little bit. The walls seem to, uh, yeah, that didn't hold up very well either. Um, uh, and there's a few more mines left for, for the next uh, phase. Um... Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess the wall is going to keep them out, so the village isn't totally killed. It's just uh, kind of a mess on <laughs> one side, so kind of pass. How about that? Aha, and finally, we have what I'm going to call the Great Wall of Llamas. So, uh, these are all wandering trader llamas, which will aggro to anything that does not like villagers pretty much instantly. Now, I'm not too sure if these llamas will be able to hold it together and shoot at all of the pillagers. I feel like the llamas might start spitting at each other, and that might trigger some kind of internal um, uh, conflict. So, I guess we'll kind of see. I had to go around the village with fences, though, so the llamas would be controlled. Otherwise, they will just wander everywhere. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of curious to see as to how this uh, one will hold up. Now, of course, because of the fences, the raiders shouldn't be able to get into the town unless there is a weak point in my fence line. So, uh, of course, the town is going to be safe, but I'm wondering if the llamas will actually be able to take out a raid before... Oh, oh, before they are taken out. Um... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, look at that. Uh, no, so, oh, yep, some of the, li okay, they're shooting at each other as well, I think. Uh, yep, mm-hmm. They are certainly, uh, hitting each other a little bit, and they haven't even killed one raid member yet, but the village is safe, right? Like, if the test is about the village, the village is fine. Um, <laughs> I love how the llamas came rushing over, though, to try and defend these, or, or kill these guys. Uh... Yeah, they're not even able to kill a single uh, raid member, though. Um, have any llamas died? Oh, nope, there we go. Now they're starting to kill them. I, I wonder if any llamas have died, though. I don't really see any signs of a dead llama. But then again, are there... Oh, there are some dead llamas. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I guess this is pretty effective. Um... Alrighty. Uh, yeah, tons of the llamas are dying. There's so many baby llamas, and I don't think the babies are pulling their weight. I think they're just kind of wandering around in here. I'm not sure if uh, babies spit. They're kind of just wandering around, which is definitely a problem. But I guess wave two is on their way, so let's see. Ah, uh, they're going over there. Oh, no. 
All of our llama friends have seemed to uh, rush over there. Um, I don't know if we're going to have enough soldiers on this line over here. Oh, these guys are going to come. Okay, that's cool. Are, are you guys going to move over here? Or Nope, they're all fighting right now, so they're a little confused. But these ones are... They're, they're doing their job a little bit, slowly but surely. That's probably better. Um, because when we have this crazy backup, like on that other side, uh, the llamas just shoot each other, and it's just a mess. So... I think if we're going to go with the llama defense, we would need to probably give each llama its own station because they like to crowd up and then start shooting at each other, which just is not productive at all. And uh, they are completely forgetting the cause of defending the village because, yeah, they're just fighting each other. Uh, and this one's just shooting a baby llama for no reason. It, it, the babies don't even do anything. And this guy, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, um, mobs remaining one. What do you mean? I see quite a few over here. Um, I'm very confused by this, but, uh, I guess, uh, the llamas have taken out this whole raid. Um, not really, but all right. <laughs> so, uh, apparently the raid is over, but it's really not, um... But a lot of the pillagers did actually die. So, in all seriousness, I think the llama was definitely the winner of today's test. The llamas actually defended the village the best and were able to take out most of each raid wave, which is pretty huge. The TNT probably would have been better if I was a little smarter about my placement. And thankfully, these llamas have all chilled out. They're not fighting each other anymore, but that's probably because all of the aggressive ones have been killed off. So... Uh huh. My name is Waddles. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. What other ways should I try defending a village? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.